hi guys welcome back to my channel I'm finally back with another video and for today's video I'm going to be doing a beautiful IKEA hack thanks for watching this is pretty much everything that you're gonna need for this project that we have here are the overlays that I'm gonna use um, the raft piece from Ikea and these are myoverlays.com these were they, these were custom made you have your screwdriver I got some tape just in case these here are the custom cut mirrors I got these from Lowe's then I got some mirror glue a gun I don't know what this is called some clips just in case I need to hold the mirror in place and then this is liquid nail glue which I'm going to use for these overlays right here. Here is a picture of the Rasta that I bought from Ikea um, and I pretty much took the measurements of this piece, wrote them here, took this to it to Lowe's with me to cut the glass. Unfortunately this longer piece I had to get two separate pieces which I really didn't want to do it because then you're going to be able to see the, the, where the two pieces connect but uh, that was the cheapest way and then there's a certain limit of what sizes they can cut and I didn't want to have to find another place where I would have to buy the glass or uh, the mirror so I just decided to go with that. So I'll have two pieces and like I said I'm gonna end up with a seam that I'm really not crazy about but I decided to just I didn't really care about that. So I think that's pretty much it so I'm gonna go ahead and put everything together and I will show you the end result. Okay guys, so I already had my IKEA unit, so it was already, you know, put together. So uh, I'm going to have to take everything apart, or just the doors and the drawers to get it all started and squared away to um, move to the next step. I'm starting with the smallest piece first so I grabbed the small already pre-cut mirror that I had for this particular drawer and I'm taking that mirror glue and putting a generous amount all over the mirror I want to make sure that I have enough glue so that it doesn't you know come apart it is mirror so you don't want it to fall off and break and make sure that you use mirror glue that way it protects the mirror and it doesn't damage it if you use any other type of glue it might damage the mirror and you'll ruin um, the mirror and you'll have to get another one obviously Once I finish with the glue, I'm going to take my mirror and place it over my drawer and just pretty much align it to make sure that it's evenly aligned. And I put on some clips and weights and wait like about an hour or so. Um, you can skip this step and move right next to the next step, but I just wanted to wait before moving on. So after I take off the clips, I just go ahead and wipe everything clean with some Windex and a paper towel just to make sure I get any fingerprints off of the glass. And I go ahead and grab my overlay and place um, some liquid nail glue all over it, basically pretty much around the perimeter and some of the edges in between just to make sure that I grabbed enough to make it stick to the glass. You might end up with some glue that oozes out when you place the overlay, so you want to make sure that you clean that up before it dries because it'll be easier uh, to get it cleaned up at that point. Then I'm moving on to the next piece, which is the longer piece. And I just, before I glue anything down, I want to measure where I want to place everything because my mirrors were split into two, and I want to make sure that the overlay sits perfectly on top and the seam of the two mirrors are connected at a specific point which I'll show you in the next clip what I mean. I repeat the same steps with adding the mirror glue and I make sure that when I place the mirrors down that I put them exactly where I made my little marks as to where I measured 
Then I go ahead and start with the nail glue on the overlay and I place the overlay right on top so the seam is going to end up exactly where I wanted it to based on what I measured. Then I'm going to go ahead and place the clips back on and the weights. So here I'm just showing you what I mean by the seam. So where the two mirrors connect, I wanted to make sure that it felt right into that uh, little groove there so that it lines up evenly and it doesn't look off uh, when I'm looking at it. So it doesn't look as bad. I'm pretty happy the way it turned out. The whole process was fairly easy. You should be able to complete it in a couple of hours and then 24 hours uh, to let it set overnight. I absolutely love the way it turned out. I think I was able to achieve the glam chic look that I was going for without spending thousands of dollars. So I'll leave all the details in the description box below. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and thank you so much for watching.